Welcome once again, friends, to the show that never ends. And today, well, we've got Rise of the Zombies, brought to us by The Asylum. And it stars Muriel Hemingway, LeVar Burton, Danny Trejo, and Ethan Supley as a group of survivors during a zombie outbreak who are trying to find a cure or f uh, and also find a safe location where there are no zombies where they will get munched. And we see them, how they try to pursue these objectives. Uh, I mean, it's basic story. It's your basic zombie film. Okay, what isn't basic is that it's not your basic asylum picture. It's still asylum. So you got a lot of moments in here that just are just over the top ridiculous, like, really? But then there's also a lot of actually really great moments in here, and maybe it's this cast they have. I mean, Mariel Hemingway's Dr. Lynn Snyder is a very strong female character, and she puts her all into it. In fact, everybody actually brings some legitimate acting to their roles. They aren't just cashing it in or playing it too over the top cheesy, which perhaps is some of the appeal of this movie, is the fact that you have these actors who are acting, you know, the kind of the cliche roles, but they aren't doing it too over the top, even though they're in this over the top cheesy film. So I really liked that, that they brought this honesty to their roles. I mean, LeVar Burton was great in this as well. I, I, I enjoyed him. It was great seeing him in a role different than The Visor or uh, telling you what book you should read. Uh, so it was it was fun seeing him on screen. Ethan uh, Supley, he was the guy who played William from Allrats, the guy who was looking for the, uh, looking at the 3D picture, trying to find the sailboat. Uh, <laughs> And, and so he was great in this film. I, I really enjoyed his role. It was great to see him in a, a more of an expanded role. And Danny Trejo kicks ass on screen wherever he is, okay? Now, like I said, it's an asylum picture. It's not phenomenal by any means, but it is a bar above most of the stuff that we see come out of this studio. And so with that in mind, plus the entertainment value, and also the fact that unlike some of their zombie films, this one actually had the continuous feel of a threat. I had to give Rise of the Zombies three stubs. I can't believe I'm saying that about an asylum picture film. But it's true, okay? I There is cheesy and bad dialogue, but it's so much better than some of the other asylum pictures. In fact, it's better than uh, the zombie apocalypse, which was directed by the same guy who directed this. He, he must be improving or trying to find his legs under the zombie film because he there he jumped the zombie tiger horribly near the end and in this one it was a little bit more feasible in the ending and the direction was better and just the overall it was an improvement over the other zombie apocalypse film that he had directed so I, I give him props there as well so if you like a, a decent zombie film, you like Asylum Pictures and you would love to see LeVar Burton and Danny Trejo on the same screen together then check out Rise of the Zombies, all right? Uh, not phenomenal cinema by any means, but it is an entertaining zombie film and one of the better pictures that have the brand of Asylum on them. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, keep the deeds up.